Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're going to be going over some snow totals for the Northern Hemisphere. We'll check back on the volcanic swarms. There's a great paper on magnetic fields and biology, and twin studies on the six-year cycle of geodynamic activity. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where we find the sun was very quiet. No significant solar flares or eruptions. The filaments pop and snap, but in a confined manner, within the corona. We've got quiet up there. Quiet geomagnetically and very little chance for that to change today given the sunspots are numerous but not magnetically complex. The one area that has a chance to develop those flares is actually incoming on the south where there are numerous umbral cores but now they need to grow and interact. We're going to Europe up next where both Santorini swarm and unusual location shakes are striking. Portuguese west coast, not many quakes there folks, and of course the big rumbles beneath the Greek islands. Up next we're going to the Rutgers snow lab. Data for the fall snow totals in the northern hemisphere are in and the trend continues. While spring snow cover is trending lower, winter cover is flat. Fall snow cover, off the charts. Up next, let's go to an excellent paper hitting the understudied arena of magnetic fields and reproductive health. This subject gets a fraction of the attention as the cardiac, nervous, and immune systems when it comes to electromagnetic influence. The few studies that have existed say what this one is confirming today. The entire reproductive system is as reactive to electromagnetic changes as the other systems in our body. Speaking of changes in magnetic fields, how about sister studies coming out four days apart this last week on the six-year cycle of geodynamic activity? Climate cycles fit, about a dozen of them. Geomagnetic secular variation and geomagnetic jerks fit. The rotation speed changes, the slight oscillations in the actual length of a day all tied to the same six-year period. And here, they are both saying these are indeed tied to the internal core magnetic dynamo of the planet, controlling how it all plays out in the weather and the rotation speed, which is weird because, of course, the magnetic field and its interaction with space weather have nothing to do with weather and climate, right? Right. At Observer Ranch, there's a conference coming this weekend. Check out the events page. The Observer bought our books and merchandise, and of course, book your reservation to come see us. It all starts at ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 7 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.